Hey guys, how you doing? Mike Tannick back here with more Hearts of Iron 4, playing La Resistance as Communist Spain. Now, if you didn't catch the last, well, few seconds of uh, the last episode, the war did kick off. And this is what we look like right now. I'll show you a few things that I did, just to kind of get you in the know of what my plan here is. Now, we did get quite a bit of units. And, yeah, we got... Almost three armies worth. Uh, we got smaller armies, so they're divvied up. We got the northern army up here, and I haven't signed a, a commander yet, but I'm going to uh, for all these. I wanted to actually do that on camera. Uh, we got an army of 12 units over here in the northeast, and our central force. Now, it looks like a lot. Like, wow, we scored, but when you look at these, the, look at the templates, guys. They're absolute garbage. It's just three infantry, and that is with... Almost all these units, yeah. They have, they're called different things. They have different unit names and different symbols here, but they're all the same garbage. Now, we did actually manage to get away with a couple real divisions, such as this one. And it by real divisions, I mean they have six infantry and absolutely no artillery. So, yeah, I don't think we got away with any of our regular divisions that we were building. Now, we are going to start training them right here because we haven't done that so our equipment situation is in the tank so i might actually hold off on training new units until we kind of see how this plays out because it's going to be probably a long grind just due to how terrible these units are but uh in any case we do need to here's the problem we do need a ton of steel now what are we trading for we're trading for oil and that's still going down which yeah, we're, we're in a mess here. We only have two civilian factories, guys. Two civilian factories. So at this point, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to use those to trade because we're so far down there. We're never going to get anything new built. But as we conquer territory here, that will change. So let's go ahead and trade for at least one steel so we can... Uh, who do we want to trade with? I do want to trade with France. And I'm just going to trade both factories. We might have to... Yeah. We might have to move things around if we need to get more oil. But that's just the unfortunate position we're in now. Because they really did revamp the Spanish Civil War in this. I, I like it a lot. So, that's where we're at. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get these armies straightened out. Give them uh, real leadership. Get them some planning bonuses. Now, this is only the army of eight. And I don't want to give them our best guy, but what do we got? Anti-Stalinist loyalties. Anti-Stalinist communists. Huh. I don't know, man. That's pretty dangerous around here. This, this guy has Stalinist loyalties. He's a good dude. Uh, infantry leader. And we can assign a new trait to him already. So let's give him infantry expert because we do have the... Yeah, we got the uh, command power to spare. And that's all we have is infantry, so that's what he's going to be. So we'll sign him up here. He's only level 2, but he'll get there. Now, our Northeast Army is 12 divisions. I want to give the best general to our biggest army. That's, that's my plan. Now, we are going to go Stalinist on this, but this guy's terrible. Look at that. Yeah, they're, well, they're all terrible. There's not much we can do about that. Can't give him the Field Marshal. Uh, Mountaineer, that will be helpful because there are quite a bit of mountains up there in the northeast. And he has Stalinist loyalty, so let's... You're hired. And we say the best or highest level general for last. He is also a Stalinist. Harshly... Ooh, division to recovery rate. That's bad. That's real bad. But he has enough stats to kind of offset that. So there we go. Now let's get... All of these guys into an army group, and we only have the one f field marshal. So he's loyal to the Democratic Republican government. That could be a problem. That could lead to a problem. But we'll take him for now, and we can. Let's give him some. We can get two here. So we can go offensive doctrine, organization loss when moving. See, that could help offset his negative trait there. Ambusher. Max entrenchment, recon bonus, 
or infantry expert. Let's go infantry expert because, again, that's all we have. And organization first. The reinforce rate will be plus two for everyone. That could be good. Oh, and this is it right here. This will uh, offset his unfortunate trait here. To, let's see, which one was it? Yeah. See, this will cancel out the division recovery rate penalty. So that's good. So he's kind of back to normal. Excellent. Uh, let's make sure everybody is in the army group. All right. So let's get these guys going here. Now, we're not going to be able to defend all this. It's just not going to happen. And I do not want to get cut off. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to allow this unit to entrench here. Send this unit down that direction. And while he's doing that, we'll lock him down with this unit. And we're going to defend over here. And they have a lot of units. So let's go ahead and reinforce. And actually, we got a good straight shot to their capital. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to miss that chance. So actually, let's use these divisions. We'll lock him down. And where are you going? Okay, yeah, come up and reinforce the line here. Now, the Northern Army, they're, they're scattered all to hell. But, oh uh, yeah, let's give them a... Yeah, well, we're not going to be able to cover all this, but we at least want to get them a planning bonus. So, force attack, uh, last stand. We might have to do the last stand with, with this army, unfortunately, guys. So, we'll give them an offensive line there. And I'm just trying to... First things first is I'm going to take advantage of any and all open territory. Which is going to be vital for us. So let's start the attack here. As a matter of fact, before I start... Yeah. No, this is, this is right. So let's get these guys the hell over here. We'll send them by rail. <clears throat> Pardon me. Because we are going to try to exploit basically every gap in their line, which there's going to be a few, so we can get that division cut off, I'm sure. Uh, let's send you up here as well. And I'm hoping that we're going to outnumber them here. Of course, our troops are all scattered as well, so it could be that they have plenty of divisions behind the line, so... Alright, that's what we will do. Oh, guys, I'm so excited just to get this started and going. First things first, I want to lock down their divisions so they can't start to uh, block us. But we are going to take advantage of the gaps. Always taking advantage of the gaps. Alright, so we're going to send some troops down this way. And just try to really aggressively take their territory as soon as possible, getting these victory points. Uh, no, let's actually send you here. And we'll get this guy going that direction. It looks like, oh, they are at this port here. So we do want to make sure we're taking that from them. Take Granada. And I'm not too worried about naval invasions, guys. If we get the notification, then we'll, we'll worry about it then. But, okay, we do need more troops up in the north. Because our capital is not well defended. So let's get these divisions moving up here. And we'll start to take this territory. If possible, I would love to be able to get a cutoff, because there is... A, I mean, this is a fairly small gap if it's not well defended. If we get this cut off, uh, they don't have a port, so they will not be able to supply any of their other troops. So I'm really going to aggressively push for that, guys. Okay, we'll get you moving as well. Uh, move these divisions further up north. Now, I should be... Yeah, we're going to have to... I mean, this our front lines here are going to be a mess, but we absolutely need that planning bonus. So that's what I'm going to do. And we are going to have to reissue all those damn orders. God, why did I do that? Okay. And same goes for the Northern Army. Let's just get Northeast Army. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, I knew I should have done this first, guys. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just so excited. I, I, uh, it's not my fault. Okay, come on. Get the planning 
bonus. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Let's get, get to the line. And do that. And again, see, there's going to be gaps in this because we're just not going to be able to cover this whole border, which is why I'm really trying to aggressively take territory from them. So let's go ahead, get moving towards Granada. And we'll take the ports at Almeria. And we do have a division down here that I think we're just going to leave to defend. Because I don't want him getting cut off. He's in real danger of being cut off if we lose the port. And we do not want to lose that port, so... Uh, yep, let's get everyone going. Take up this territory. Hopefully cut off any divisions that are, in fact, down here. Get you moving to Cordoba. Lock down that unit. Yeah. And this is another place we might be able to get a cutoff. So, we're gonna really, really try to do that to see if we can connect and push towards the Portuguese border. Alright. We can attack. And hopefully, as we do this, guys, we're going to scoop up more civilian factories so we can trade from our oil. I do not trust... Well, never mind. That's... It. Yeah, never mind. So, let's get... More reinforcements up here, because we're going to have to hold these guys up. And the name of the game here is going to be Cut Off and Destroy, because of the lousiness of these units. Trying to just grind them down in a stand-up fight is going to take all damn day. And there's the good chance that they uh, perhaps have real divisions, you know? I never know. Alright, again, let's get all you guys on the rail. Got to move fast, guys. We got to move fast. Before they have time to organize a good defense. Oh, well, not that far. Yeah. Okay. And that unit will definitely get cut off and destroyed. Right. Is everyone moving? I think that's almost everyone. Uh, we'll send... Oh, yeah. We're sending these divisions up north to try to really put pressure on them to take the capital. And we are going to leave one unit just to defend and entrench in Madrid. We obviously do not want to lose our capital, so... Yeah, you guys just gotta move, move, move. Now, once we kind of see where all their forces are, then we will... Organize a little better our offensive plan, but right now, time is of the essence. Ah, oh, and they got a unit there, too. Well... You know what we're gonna do, then? Yeah, because they could technically... Do a naval invasion from there. So let's let's sink all their stuff, guys. Um, okay. Yeah, I know what we're going to do. We need a new commander. And who's this guy? Gentlemanly. And leader experience gain. Ah, that's too bad. But right now we're in somewhat of a desperate position, guys. We cannot be too choosy. And up here, too. Anything they got coming in, I want to intercept and destroy. Or we probably should put our navy away. I'll wait. I'll wait, because they are almost to level 2, and then we'll put our navy away, because we don't want to lose them. Yes! Okay, this is what I was hoping would happen, guys. Soviet Union sending a 6th Division and their air wings as volunteers to help us out. How do you like them apples? Okay, yeah, we're not producing... Naval bombers. They will be here on the 18th of September. So two more weeks. And yeah, we're just hurting on everything. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to let the Navy train up. Just a little bit. And our planes, we don't have many. Uh, we only have, what, 30 planes that managed to stay with us. So. Yeah, guys. I'm not. Uh, oh, wait. This is a Naval bomber. I can't use them for close air support. Let's send them. No. No, 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 no. Actually, cancel that. Just hunt in the Western Mediterranean. See what they got out there. And try to help control the area to keep that division from uh, attacking us. Or doing a naval invasion. Which the AI likely would. Because that's such a dick move. Alright. Are we moving, guys? No. Lock them down, please. 
And we're not going to win that fight, but again, we're just trying to keep their guys in place while our guys advance. That is the name of the game here. Oh, yeah, and they're sending guys by rail, so... Oh, yeah, come on, go for the capital. How great would it be to get the capital, like, in the first three minutes of the war? All right, so we're going to actually slow this down because I don't want to miss anything, as I tend to do. If you guys saw any of my last two campaigns, you know that I miss things, and big things, too, not just little things. All right, so we are going to get a cutoff there, so I don't want to attack across the river necessarily, but let's lock him down. So our unit can get across and cut him off. All right. Now, where where do you think you're going? No, 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 no. Yeah, see, I knew these lines would get so messed up. I just knew it. Okay. You come here. Just got to take every bit of territory we can, guys. It all matters, especially in the Civil War. But there's no room for error here. Now, who else... Who else are our friends? Maybe we can request some forces. Yeah. Democratic. Technically, we're democratic, but that's going to change. Because uh, communism is very much on the rise. And I might get a communist advisor just to kind of help that along. So, let's see. Who are we friends with? Uh, let's see. Let's open the country lists. Communists. We can request forces from... The Soviet Union, Communist China. I wonder if they would do that for us. No, we can't. Yeah, because we're not in the faction. They're, we're not in their faction, but... I mean, see, what can we do here? I do want to join the common turn. That is something I want to do. And we need the world tension to be a bit higher. It has to be at 50, so yeah, there's not much we can do... Besides, you know, if we can come up with some friends, we just need to get in a faction. That's the, the main problem here. He's got to get in a faction. Okay, now we did get those divisions cut off. Excellent. Why are you standing still? Okay. Yeah, they did manage to, uh... Oh, shoot. No. Let's see if we can't take that, uh airfield and it looks like we should be able to now actually you stay here and attack them so now we're running into their serious resistance and we did get the capital guys we got it so where's the new capital it's in Sevilla so yes let's get this cut off guys let this let's get this cut off it's gonna be difficult all right that's a cut off Oh my goodness, they have a lot of troops there. So let's actually get this helping out. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to help them out. There's uh, four units there, but we did get... Okay, yeah, we got them cut off. Uh, if we get this territory right here, we will get that cut off as well. This is good, guys. This is good. Where is... Oh, no. That's right. I forgot to unassign that unit. So we're not guarding the port anymore. That's okay. We'll still get them. Just a matter of time. All right. How are we doing up north here? This is kind of where I'm worried because we have big old gaps in the line. All right. There we go. Yeah. Let's get this cut off, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Actually, support this attack. So I want to try to get a win there. And we are hopelessly surrounded here, guys. So I'm not really going to... Yeah, we got to guard our port. So let me unassign him from the... Oh, yeah, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> no problem. Okay, Civil War front lines solidify. With, uh, within only a week of fighting behind us, it has already become apparent that the Spanish countryside is not well suited for our transport of large quantities of equipment. Difficulties in keeping our front lines and offensive supplies are cropping up and will only get worse if we continue to attempt to fight. Oh, what? Madrid, Catalonia, Western, add to provinces, unplanned offensive. Division attack minus 90. Unlock Civil War on map decisions, allowing removal of unplanned offensive. God, why, guys? 
Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of that. Okay. Civil War offensive, so... Okay, well, we can't necessarily do anything here yet. Okay, so we... We'll, yeah, I guess the decisions will pop up and we'll take them. I think that's absolute BS, just for the record, but... Minus 90. That's okay, guys. We're in a good position here. We're in a very good position. Alright, we are going to get this cut off. Do they have any ports? No, they do not. So these guys will all be cut off from supply. Oh, I love it. Very glad we took the aggressive approach here. Are you going to attack them or are you just going to walk over? What's going on with you, man? There we go. And it's the 11th, so... Uh, yeah, they're not here yet. The Soviets. That's going to be a great help. I don't know if they're... Units will be affected by the unplanned offensive as well. Probably not. It better not be. That'd be ridiculous. Oh, yeah. We got cutoffs all over the place. And there we go. Yeah, that's good. We got one division cut off here. And all these guys are soon going to be out of supply. And that'll help us wrap up the north. Uh, down here, though, it's yeah, we're having a little trouble. We're having a little trouble, guys. Let's see if we can march on the capital. Uh, where do you think you're going? Attack him. He's out of supply. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you guys? You see, look at this. Even with all of these penalties... Oh, we have zero attack. That's why. Oh my god. Yeah, we have zero attack. That's why they're not actually dying. Oh, this is awful. Which is why the maneuver part is so important uh, starting out in the Civil War. You gotta get you gotta get the cutoffs done. Now, how are these guys of supply? They'll be out soon. And these guys are definitely out of supply, but they're not dying. See, they're... Oh, Jesus, we need those Soviet divisions. Someone with some real attack, because this is not working. So let's check out some of these notifications. Alright, we're doing okay. We bombed a uh, convoy. Excellent. Okay, anything else? Oh, we're fighting. Nope, okay. Oh, wow. Three troop convoys. See, I'm glad we set up the subs. Because they are transferring units to... Um, to this port. They're still pouring troops in, which is making me really concerned. But a lot of these guys, they're landing with no organization, which is good, because that means once we grind them down, they're just destroyed a lot faster. All right, let's get rid of some of these. Okay, decisions available. Let's see. Did we get a decision about Civil War offensives? What is this? I didn't select this. Impending Asturias Offensive. Will abort if country's not Spain. Effects if not completed within 10 days. Removed from provinces. Unplanned. Offensive. Okay, so what do I do about this? You, you didn't give me a choice. You didn't give me a choice, you dicks. Ah, oh, I hate them. Now, we should be getting our spy in on this. What is our spy doing? Right now. Okay. Commando training, but what is the operative doing? Okay. What is Kissy Lips? Our, our boy Kissy Lips here. He's building an intel network and he's almost done. 61 more days. Well, it's not almost done, but it's better than what it was, so. Okay. Yeah, some of these decisions, though, I mean, I, I'm saving. Our political power guys because I don't know what these decisions are gonna entail and how much they will cost so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna leave all these for now and you know what with all this going on we should be training real divisions particularly because our units all have zero attack so let's deploy them around Madrid and what's our equipment situation do I even want to know Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, guys, we're okay. In fact, we could probably train two divisions right now. Yeah, supplies are full, so that's good. All right, we might have a real fighting force soon. 
to take advantage of these massive cutoffs. Okay, and their supply is finally starting to come back to bite them in the behind. And Navy. Let's not forget them. Let's get the Navy out of there. They're too small. I don't know how many ships the Nationalists have. What do we know? Uh... Okay, yeah, their navy is probably better than ours, so I don't I don't even want to risk it. The subs being out, that's fine. That's kind of a must. See, Jesus, this unit was cut off at the very beginning, and he's lost no, even with encirclement. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so, bit of good news. We got uh, two of our techs done. We got first concentrated industry and mechanical computing. All right, so we're getting the basics knocked out. Six divisions have arrived in Valencia. Thank God, somebody who knows how to fight. Zero percent attack. Zero attack, guys. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm going to leave still a little too early for the 1937 tax, but let's go ahead and get uh, Excavation 1. Hopefully help our research situation a little bit. And we should probably... Can we do anything with the military? Yes. Support weapons one. I believe... Well, actually, let's have a look around and make sure there's nothing more pressing. Okay, our oil situation is okay. For now. So, I'm going to leave it because we're, we're in the green and gaining. Haha, <laughs> okay. Yes, support weapons one. God, and this guy... Ugh, kissy lips... Kissy lips, I need you, man. I need you back over here. Hurry up. Mr. What are you? What are you again? Seducer. Jackass. All right. I don't like that guy. I, I don't know why. Um, anyone who refers to themselves as a seducer is kind of a douche. All right. Let's try to see if we can get this some of these attacks to turn green here. I mean, even the ones that are green, nothing's happening. So yeah, we really have to get this modifier removed, guys. Impending Anarchist Uprising. Oh, shit. We'll get the event Anarchist Uprising if it happens within 230 days. Oh, God, that's so good. Uh, we can take advantage of some of these openings here. Because, yeah, we've kind of reached a standstill, guys. Ah, oh, no, we got cut off. We got cut off. Okay, yeah, hold that guy down. We're going to just cruise on out of here. Don't mind us. Oh, yeah, we need some more help down here, guys. There's nothing's happening. That's the problem. It's really frustrating. So, okay, where are our Soviet divisions, and what are they doing? I know we don't get to control them, but my god, would it be nice. Okay, ooh, two armor divisions, what is it, three, four mountain divisions. Excellent choice, guys. Because we got a lot of mountains, and they don't have any tanks, as far as I know, unless they're getting help. Which, people might be supporting them, but I haven't seen any other flags besides the nationalist Spain flag so far. And maybe these guys are getting local supply? Is that what's going on? It's hard to say. Yeah, well, they're suffering, and that's good. Eventually, the lack of supply will grind them down to where they can't do anything. They can't function. Yeah, we're just going to walk on out of here and cut you off instead. Ah, oh, they have a mountain division as well. Interesting. So what's the war score looking like? I'm surprised that uh, they're not a little more towards capitulations, considering uh, considering we already took their capital, their first capital. Okay, yeah, this... Well, the good thing here is, guys, these divisions are dying. They're getting destroyed. It's just taking ever so long. And we are sinking troop convoys, which is helping. What are the casualties like? I think... Oh, look at that. We've lost 126 men... They've lost 13k. So, yeah, I'd say we're winning. That's what you call winning. Alright. 
And we are going to get another cutoff here from supply. Unless they have a port. I'm pretty sure they have a port up here. Yeah, damn. Okay. Well, we'll see if it's enough to sustain all of them. Because we are going to cut them off from their new capital. Oh my god, this takes forever though. So we're going to crank the speed up by one. Just one. Because I want these Soviet divisions to get in here and help out. Oh man, they might even be getting... Yeah, they might even be getting hurt by our unfortunate situation here. How's that decision coming anyway? Civil War Offensive. So, what? Select. Okay. Issues with our ability to supply the frontline troops make it difficult and organize pushes against enemy strongholds. Oh! Oh! I'm an idiot. Look at this, guys. How did you not tell me? Okay. So, yeah. Activates preparing offensive. Impending Burgos offensive. Yes, we can do that. 90 days, guys. Wow. 90 days. And let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's get these guys wrapped up. I want to get all these divisions destroyed. So, okay. So, that's a really confusing thing that they added. Okay, preparing offensives... I, I'm just really upset that uh, it didn't... It's taking 90 days. Military plot failed. Okay. I think that's good. I believe that was good. Alright. Let's see how our Navy is doing. We haven't lost any subs yet. I'm actually really happy about that. Let's make sure they're on automatic split off though. Okay. Alright. Good stuff. Good work, guys. They're sinking troop convoys left and right. Yes! Okay, we got to upgrade to our intelligence agency, the commando training. All right. Now, I, I don't want to do any more of these because we have no, really no factories to give up. How many civilian factories do we have now? We must have captured some. We got five. Okay. See, I really wish we could recruit a second operative, but we can't believe we can after the war all right yeah we government cipher school cryptology level plus one there are a lot of really interesting interesting uh, upgrades that you could do here army intelligence economy t intelligence defense counterintelligence plus 1.5 that would be really nice to have and anti-partisan, because I believe we're going to need that since we are occupying enemy territory. I don't know if we're having resistance, so let's... Actually, let's see. How's it looking here? No. Okay, so we're not actually having resistance, so that is good. So we can just shelve that for now. So let's go ahead. Operations. Plastic explosives. That would be nice. Okay. Ooh, invisible ink. Assets plus 20%. Steel blueprint risk minus 25. Can we do that? Yes, let's do that, guys. It's only 30 days. It only takes 30 days, and I think that's a huge benefit. So yeah, all these divisions up here are now cut off. Although we do have to get their port from them at some point. Oh, see, I was afraid of this. I knew this was going to happen. So let's do this. We gotta rescue our unit. Alright. And we're gonna wait for this unit to leave. And we will lock down this division. Actually, he's gonna leave first. Yeah, so I say we, we let him leave first. That's, that's a great idea. Okay, and we'll attack there. And once he leaves, we'll just sneak this guy out this way. I've gotten better at rescuing my own cutoff divisions, guys. If you saw the uh, Ottoman campaign, it was atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. I can't remember how many divisions I lost. There's probably upwards of like 20, 25, something like that. Total because of this garbage. I wasn't paying attention. Or paying close enough attention. 
So I imagine, guys, the lack of supply is going to really start to wear them down. Oh, and they were able to get rescued somehow. Oh no, that's horrible. Okay, stop that attack. We're going to break through here. Or we're going to try. And we're actually about to win a battle here. Where is the Soviet armor? I don't see them. They better not just be hanging around. Yeah, I don't see them, guys. Where did our friendly tanks go? Oh, God. Yeah, we got to get out of here. <laughs> we got to get out. Actually, we'll go down this way. We'll go to the port because they're going to cut us off. And see, yeah, we're just not paying close enough attention. We have to lock these guys down. Because they're now starting to be able to maneuver against us as we kind of squeeze them in here. Oh, no, I can't believe we, we lost the cutoff. Oh, I'm so upset about that. Yeah. Well, the good news is it looks like we're going to win. In fact, support this attack. Stop what you're doing. Yeah, I'm going to have to have you stop. So, we'll support this attack. And really try to get that breakthrough. Uh, you can stop, because you need to defend right now. And in fact, let's move this division up to support them, because we cannot lose that. I'm not going to lose the damn cutoff again. Alright. <laughs> this battle's still going. Oh my god. Mountain divisions, what is wrong with you? That unplanned offensive... Oh, God, our guys were already terrible enough. I'm really upset about that. Uh-oh. Yeah, looks like we're in some trouble here. Can we get to them? Yes, we can. Rescue mission, guys. You gotta hurry, though. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna be able to hold on. Okay, are we still killing divisions here? We are. That's good. That's gonna be really upping our score. Yeah, 39k to 465. That's got a sting. I don't know how much manpower they have, but they're losing a lot. Ah, oh, we lost a sub. Two subs. Ah, oh, that's too bad. What a shame. Alright, are we in danger anywhere else? Kind of. Yeah, let's get in on this attack. These guys are about done. See, there are... Oh, Jesus. See, see what I mean, guys? See what I mean? Got a little too aggressive. Let's try to get out of there. Damn it. Actually, no. We'll send this, this unit up. Yeah, the, they sent... Oh, they're really aggressive right now. Uh, we don't want to attack across the river. So let's do this. Yep, yep, yep. Made some mistakes here. Ah, German tanks are here. Great. Alright, let's get this guy out of here. Get these guys cut off. And then we'll join that attack. And we may as well take advantage of this opening. I'm trying to get every bit of land off them that we can, guys. Because not only for their manpower. Because I don't think they're going to be able to hold up much longer. But, uh... But their equipment, their factories as well that we're getting. Ah, oh, damn it. What is this? Yeah, they they blocked us from cutting off, you bastards. How dare you? I had a plan, and you ruined it. Okay, yeah, let's... Let's go to that, that province. See if we can get any kind of help here. In fact, let's stop that attack, man. Stop. You're just screwing up your organization. Yeah, guys, we're just having a tough time. How is that unplanned offensive coming? Oh, I'm sorry, the planned offensive, as it were. Okay. 
Yeah, we can only do one at a time, unfortunately, but I do want to get this wrapped up. Damn it, we had them, too. Oh, now they got German tanks guarding the pass. I'm so upset. It's okay. Let's keep going. Maybe attack here. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, and you support the attack. Okay, you'll be there in one hour. Excellent. Get there at midnight. Let's go ahead and get this complete. These two divisions will be cut off and destroyed. Eventually, if we ever get above one attack power. Okay, and these guys are encircled, so that's good. Got them wrapped up. Just want to make sure we're doing good things everywhere else. Okay. And we did run into a little bit of a problem here. Alright, yeah, I don't want to get cut off with this division, so we're going to send him back. Yeah, that's that's a shame. We lost one. I don't know that we're going to be able to get them out. But that's okay. They've lost way, way more than us. Especially since they keep sending them down to the damn port here. Okay, guys. You have a division cut off. You attack. Eventually, guys, the supply situation gets to the point where the organization just drops completely. So eventually we will get these guys destroyed. But it doesn't seem to be affecting this unit at all. Which is so crazy. How they can just keep fighting without supplies. No, you don't. I will attack you. I'm trying to go on a rescue mission for their divisions. All right. Yeah, we can get the cutoff here again. Okay, that'll do it to him. We just have to make sure that we capitalize on this and don't lose it. Yeah, cannot lose that ability. Now, they are trying to get through there, but I think we will beat them. Uh, yeah, let's just lock all these guys down. I don't like movement. I don't like when you guys are moving around. Let's see if we can't get these guys cut off again. I'm really going to try, guys. I'm going to try with everything. Okay, we're going to stop this attack. That's just a losing. Alright, come on. Alright, yeah, we got them cut off in two places now. We just have to get the manpower to be able to hold it. There we go. Okay. Let's have a final look at the casualties. I think that's going to be the episode, guys. Okay, we've lost 2k. And I believe that was from the units that got cut off and destroyed. So, it's 44k to 2k. And we are whooping them. Whooping them bigly. They do have more units than us, which is a shame. But that's alright. We're just going to keep killing them like we do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy this and uh, I am gonna start to do more with the spy thing soon as soon as he's done because I'm really fascinated that's the whole point of this DLC correct so he's still working in Portugal and he will be done soon I'm sure so if you guys enjoyed it again please consider subscribing leave a comment if you guys have hints tips or if you're seeing something that I'm not which is there's a good chance that you are let me know in the comments below Love you guys. Bye-bye.